Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, today I would like to return back to discussion of the Great British Pound. Um, here we still are watching for retracement down that has started a couple of weeks ago. And um, if you remember our last discussion on the Great British Pound that uh, these really tough times are coming for United Kingdom. Uh, the economy situation within the economy are not, is not really clear and it has some problems. Also, the standing of the Brexit uh, in the June it's will be another challenge for the economy, and it really could involve the Great British Pound in a very volatile action in the nearest future. Still, uh, last time when we have talked on the Great British Pound, we said that this market is really ever so ever bad on the daily chart, on the weekly chart, and it has formed a reversal candles as on the weekly chart. On the weekly chart it was almost reversal, not quite reversal. But on the daily chart we have clear reversal candle here. We said that probably uh, taking it all together uh, we could uh, probably, it would be better to expect some kind of the compounding retracement down. So some sort of the ABCD action rather than just AB drop. Currently although we have the long term bearish view on the, on the Great British Pound as you can see, market still stands for this ABCD action. So uh, two weeks ago, market has completed the first part of it. So retracement of this ABCD has completed, and we uh, have said that it really could become the real reversal down. So it, it, it here market has chances to continue move lower and just reestablish the bearish trend. But this is not clear yet. So currently, we do not see yet the form, the, the patterns that could clearly. Uh, <clears throat> destroy all our suspicious and tell and tell us definitely that yes, market returned back on the road with the bearish trend to the downside, and we are ready to take in the long term shorts with the target of 133 that we are expected to see in the long term perspective. Not yet, because currently market is still stands with this ABCD up. Yes, this reversal has happened, some kind of the bounce up to the completion of the AB equal CD target, but this is. Uh, stands right now as the normal retracement of the completion of the important target. So uh, this is nothing curious with it, and and uh, this is stands in, in a row with the normal bullish development. When the market stands in ABCD pattern, every time when it hits the target, it could show the retracement. Besides, guys, if you take a look here, this was a really minor retracement, so just 3.8 support. 144 is just a 3.8 of the whole move up, so it's minor retracement. <clears throat> but right now we think that this our prediction is just to bounce up from the very strong support area. This is confluence support. We have talked about it uh, in our weekly research. So this is confluence support, the monthly pivot point, the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern. So it's really tough support area. And we said this probably first we need to wait when the market touch it. Second way a step will be the bounce out from it. That will be some kind of the BC leg is forming. And uh, after that, we should get some kind of the continuation. Either this will be AB equals CD, or market will show just minor B CD lag. We do not know yet. But following the logic of the overall price section on the high time frame charts, particularly speaking on the weekly chart, this market stands over band there as well. Uh, it's logical to suggest some deeper retracement. That's why currently we still treat this as bounce up. Uh, for, uh, that that was triggered by the strong really strong support area. So that's our thought uh, about this current up protection. So uh, that being said, we currently still stands with this action of the retracement after the hitting of this ABCD target. So uh, and we expect that this retracement also will take the ABCD shape. That's our current suggestion. Uh, so um, on the 4 hour time frame chart we see the reasons for our protection action. So we see the true testing of the neckline. Here we see the clear nicely looking bullish divergence right from the strong support. This is not uh, a, this is not um, 
fake divergence because we, we, every time we, we should be extra careful with the divergences and you should check the divergences by the levels where it, 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 it was formed. So here we have very strong confidence support on the daily chart. That's why we could rely on this divergence at the sign for our upward action. So um, now what we could get on the current week? What action we will be watching for? What patterns could be formed here? We think that uh, here we could get the hand and shoulders pattern that will become the shape of the BC leg up. So here is approximately the scenario that we probably will be watching in the current week. What we have? First of all, take a look. The market right now stands above the weekly pivot resistance one. This tells us that this action should get the continuation. Because this is not just minor retracement in the long term trend. Usually, when when market shows retracement, just retracement, it should hold by the pivot resistances. Here we have the quite another story. The market, as you can see, move, has moved above the week, uh, weekly pivot resistance one. This tells us this probably will get some kind of the continuation here. Uh, this bottom stands right at 127 extension of this action. Let's call it as a left shoulder. Okay, so we could get the 127 head and shoulders patch. Right now we expect to see the bounce down. Just market needs to start to form the right shoulder. Right now it stands at the natural support resistance area. So you can see this was previously support here, although it was pursed very strong. Upper condition support, breakout, resistance, 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 resistance. Now it's again will be resistance. So, uh, and we expect to see the starting of the forming of the right shoulder here to keep the harmony. Of course, market could show just a reversal swing moving above this top, then form some ABCD retracement. This will be a bit another shape, and we probably will have to adjust our view if this really will happen today. But currently, guys, it seems that uh, market really could form some kind of the um, hand shoulders pattern and if it will be formed it will be a very nicely looking pattern very, very logical so uh, that's been said we expect to see that the BC like wow a big A B C D pattern will take the shape of this some kind of the hand shoulders 127 hand shoulders pattern so as a result when the market will start to bouncing down as the forming of the right shoulder it should bounce in the area approximately 144 even because this will be the weekly pivot point and you can see this here is approximately the bottom of the right shoulder stance. So somewhere in an area of 144. That is a bit deeper than the 618 support because we have the 127 butterfly. This is not 1618 butterfly. When the market retrace, uh, sorry, butterfly, hand shoulders, when the market usually retrace to the 618 support. Here it will be a bit deeper action. But to keep in the harmony, market probably should retrace lower. And then we expect the upward continuation. So that's some sort of the ABCD pattern up. That gives you the clue depending on your trading style depending on your position on the market uh, what to watch for so for example if you uh, would like to take the long position and you are, would like to take the bet on this upward continuation you could start to watch for approximately 144 area maybe slightly higher uh, to take the position in this case you will be able to possess yourself with this ABCD pattern if you would like to take the short with this ABCD continuation, then probably you could wait two moments. First is the failure of the skin shoulders. For example, if market will drop here lower, return right back down to the bottom, this will mean the failure of the hand shoulders, and you would, in this case, could take the short. Or completion of these head and shoulders right at 146. This will be also, guys, take a look. This will be an agreement because this is the 618 resistance of this move, up, move down. This will be ABCD target, so this will be agreement resistance. That would be an area for taking the short term bearish position. So. That's what really uh, we have right now in the Great British Pound. Of course, if we will drop time frame lower, even to the 50 minute chart, you could find the setups for the scalp trading. So, here probably will be not bad for us to up. You could try to take the short from this resistance right to this bottom, but this is too small scale. We, we usually do not discuss uh, such fast trades in our videos because we will not be able to give you the setup in time since it's developed very fast. That's why uh, we usually take a bit uh, greater scale for discussion. But uh, for our time frame chart, hourly chart is uh, very suitable for our video, and we usually take the 
look at the setups on these time frames. So that's what we are watching for on the British pound. Let's see what we will get. 